Ledger Live tutorial. What's up guys, welcome to this edition of Understanding Crypto. And on this video, I want to talk about what I've learned in the last couple weeks about the Ledger Live application or the Ledger Live program, which uh, allows you to install and uninstall apps on this Nano, which uh, then in turn talk to the blockchain about the particular crypto assets that you have in each of those accounts on each of those blockchains. A really difficult way to describe it, I realize that, but uh, what I figured out is that I'm actually referring to this thing incorrectly. And um, I'm confusing a lot of people in the way that I'm talking about this by saying, putting cryptocurrency on your Nano. Remember, there is no cryptocurrency stored on your Nano or on really any hardware wallet. What you're doing is you're storing the secret keys on these devices and those secret keys are in turn talking to the blockchain about those particular accounts which contain those cryptocurrencies. That's a much more accurate way to uh, think about it. And I'm gonna try to refer to it as accurately as possible um, in the future. So try to keep me honest. Um, anyways, I wanna go through what I've learned about uh, Ledger Live and give you kind of, a, kind of a walkthrough about what I know about it and uh, see if that's helpful for you. Okay, so I'm opening up Ledger Live and I'm typing in my password, which is the password that I created when I installed Ledger Live on my computer. And it opens up uh, to this portfolio view here. So here's what you need to know. These menus up here in this bar do absolutely nothing. Um, they're just generic application uh, functions like quit the application. And so there's really nothing going on up here in this bar. Everything that you do inside Ledger Live is gonna happen in two places. One, the manager, which I just clicked on now, and two, the portfolio. Manager is the place where you're installing and uninstalling the applications that go on the Nano itself. And then the portfolio is the place where you're installing the accounts or you're adding the accounts. And the accounts under portfolio allow you to interact with the apps that you've installed under manager, which I'm gonna show you here in a little bit. Now there was a lot of excitement about this tab right here. Um, by crypto and I gotta tell you, I'm pretty disappointed because this tab is really nothing more than a bunch of affiliate links that go to the various exchanges. I thought there was gonna be some sort of built-in exchange here and um, maybe there will be in the future, but for now what we have is just a bunch of affiliate links and it's really kind of a useless tab. So for the rest of this tutorial, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna install a generic application, show you how that works, and then we're gonna add the account under portfolio view. Now really quickly, while this is loading, I wanted to say not every single application that you install under manager has a corresponding portfolio account, meaning that there are some applications for cryptocurrencies and Stellar right here is one of them that when you install it on your device, when you install that particular app on your Nano, you do not use the portfolio tab to um, interact with that app. What you actually have to do is go out to the web and you have to go to stellar.org and you have to use their account viewer which is online through a Chrome browser in order to be able to do that. So I just want you to be clear about that. Not every single thing that you can install here under manager has a corresponding portfolio account with it. The other thing to know is that in order for you to, to use any of these other applications, you always have to have the Bitcoin application installed. So right now I actually do have the Bitcoin application installed on my Nano and that's gonna allow me to install another application. So before I'm even able to install the Ethereum app, I actually have to have the Bitcoin app installed. And I don't know why that's the case, but it's just something you have to do. All right, so let's just say that I wanna install the Ethereum app on my device. So I'm gonna come down here to install Ethereum, uh, click on install. Now I've got my Nano connected with the USB cable to my computer and it just says processing on uh, the screen of my Nano. And uh, that's all there is to it right there. Ethereum is now installed on your device. So I'm gonna click close and I'm gonna come up here to portfolio and I'm going to add an account. And I'm going to pull down to Ethereum. And I'm gonna click continue. Now it's gonna say connect and unlock your device, which uh, it is connected and it is unlocked. And navigate to the Ethereum app on your device. I'm gonna navigate to the Ethereum app and I'm going to press both buttons to get me into that app. Once that takes place, um, you can continue and it's going to synchronize your account. So remember, what it's doing is it's looking at the secret keys on your Nano for the Ethereum app. It's going out to the blockchain and it's looking at that account that those secret keys talk about. And it's gonna, it's gonna pull the information into 
the portfolio view about how much crypto is stored in that particular account. All right, it's gonna ask me what I wanna call this particular account. I'm just gonna call it Ethereum and uh, click the checkbox, add account. Account has successfully been added. So I'm gonna bounce out of there. Now here's the summary screen of um, everything that's going on in that account. You can see I don't have any Ethereum in that account. Over here to these newly created um, tabs, which you're gonna see there's a send function and a receive function. I'm gonna click on receive. I'm gonna come over here, yep, Ethereum, click continue. Uh, unlock it, yep, navigate to the Ethereum app, yep, those two things happened. And I'm going to click verify. And what I wanna do is I wanna make sure that this address that's showing up on my screen is the same address that's showing up here on my device. You wanna verify that, right? What that's doing is preventing um, hackers from somehow using the software to throw up a different address on your screen and have you send your Ethereum to another address. So I'm gonna look here on my uh, screen of my Nano and I'm kind of checking the first numbers of it, which are correct. And I'm going to look at a few in the middle. It's correct. And the last, those are correct. Good enough for me. I'm gonna click continue or rather I'm gonna right click and it's going to verify that. And now once I verify it, I am free to take this, hit uh, and copy it to my clipboard. And then I'm gonna take that address to either another wallet where I might have this cryptocurrency stored or maybe an exchange. And I'm going to plug that address into the send dialog box. And that's gonna allow me to send Ethereum to this particular address on the blockchain. All right, so that's how you would receive. And sending is really pretty self-explanatory. I'm not gonna walk through this because I think you guys are pretty dialed in um, on how to do that, but you would just click on that tab and you would just walk through these options here um, in order to send anything from this particular account. All right, so that is adding an application using Manager to your Nano and then adding an account under the portfolio view in order for you to interact with that application that is on your Nano. And so real quickly before I go, I wanna, I wanna show you this right here, which is like, let's say that you did add Stellar under Manager you would, and you wanted to interact with it and you came to portfolio view and you tried to add the Stellar account and you pulled down here and you'd see there is no Stellar account, right? Because we know that not every cryptocurrency under the manager that you're able to add to your Nano has a corresponding portfolio account in this software. Some of those cryptocurrencies, you have to interact with those um, either through a web browser or some other means that, um, that's particular to that cryptocurrency in that blockchain. All right, so before I go, I wanted to talk really quickly about um, adding and removing applications under manager. There's a couple issues going on um, that people are having with that. And that is, you gotta remember, this device, this Nano, can only store um, a couple of applications on it at one time. Um, and so I've recommended in the past, if you have more than like four or five cryptocurrencies, maybe you should consider getting another Nano or a different wallet, right? Strictly because of the hassle factor. Now I think it's a little bit easier that we have this program for you to add and remove stuff from your Nano. So if you do have more than you know four or five cryptocurrencies, it's, it's really not that big of a deal anymore to uninstall and reinstall um, each of the applications because you can only have a few of them on here at one time. The other thing to remember is that just because you're uninstalling or installing those applications on the Nano, that does not remove those cryptocurrencies from your accounts on the blockchain. All that is doing is, is putting the application on or off of this device that's not doing anything with your assets that are out there and stored on the blockchain. So I know there's a kind of a big fear like, oh, if I, if I installed the Ethereum app and I sent some Ethereum to that particular account and then I removed that Ethereum app from the Nano, would I lose my crypto? And the answer to that is no, you would not. Remember that this device stores the secret keys, right? This device could get destroyed. And as long as you have your recovery phrase that you got when you set up your Nano in the first place, you could buy another Nano, use that recovery phrase and restore access to your assets. So that's the beautiful thing about cryptocurrency is that the currencies themselves are digital and they exist out there on the blockchain. This is merely storing the secret keys which allow you to access those accounts and um, control them basically using this software. All right, I hope I didn't confuse anybody and I hope I was accurate in the way that I talked about it. 
If not, please keep me honest in the comments. And if you have any other questions, of course, put them in the comment section. I'm gonna try to answer them the best that I can. Remember, I am learning at the same time alongside you um, about how to be accurate and really um, understand how cryptocurrency works and really how blockchains work. So uh, please forgive me if I misspeak about things and uh, hope this helps.